Welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back everyone who is returning. Uh, my name is Jack. If you're new here, spiritual nutritionist teaching you how to nourish your mind, body, and spirit and embrace that divine feminine. Okay. Um, so today I feel really called to do a, a message meant to reach you now reading. A message meant to reach you now. Okay. So um, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're watching this on TikTok, um, please know that we have a 50k like goal every single day. So tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. All right. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a reading from me. All right. Um, but if you are ready for the reading, no matter where you are watching this, comment ready. Let's see. We also have um, the Mars-Pluto conjunction today. So today may not feel like a Valentine's Day. It may feel like you have this like urge to really figure out like your life path, what you're doing with your life. Um, you may be really triggered by something that happens in the world, on the news, or in someone else's life. Um, so I would just watch for people being triggered, you feeling triggered. Remember, triggers are a blessing in disguise. It's showing you something within yourself that needs to be healed. Um, all right, so people are going to be quite reactive today. So I would just, you know, be careful driving and, you know, maybe protect your peace a little bit more than you normally do. Um, also, uh, Mars conjuncting Pluto can, um, and the moon in Aries may bring up issues with your mouth, your gums, your teeth, headaches, okay, or any like um, uh, deep health issues, something going on beneath the surface in the body. So pay attention to your body. Um, you also may feel an urge to like run away from anything that's frustrating you. And what this conjunction is trying to get you to do is identify where you feel that anxiety, that frustration in your body so you can face it and release it. Okay, so if you feel like frustrated or angry or whatever else, the more you try to run from it, the more it's going to come up. So you might as well just face your shit. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, God's Earth Universe Divine Creator All Things. What messages are these beautiful souls meant to receive right now? The Fool. It's time for a leap of faith. It's time for a new beginning. Aries energy. Page of Cups um, could be a new beginning with um, something creative, could be taking a leap of faith and developing your spiritual gifts or um, taking a leap of faith on something your intuition is drawing you to, um, maybe something you've been dreaming about or a dream that you would like to manifest. This could be um, a new beginning, a leap of faith with a child. The crossing energy. Death in the reverse. Um, the crossing energy can either help or hinder you. So this new beginning, this leap of faith, um, it's going to require really deep transformation. I just feel like you guys are completely changing who you are because the old version of you was the conditioned version, right? The person you were told that you had to be or the person that you became because of adaptations that you made due to trauma that occurred in your life early on. We have Scorpio energy, Aries energy, so that energy could be relevant. You do not have to be those signs. It's just what's prevalent here. Aries is the first house in your natal chart, so that would represent the self. So this is taking a leap of, a leap of faith on you, on you, okay? Um, prioritizing your life, your vision, your in, inner transformation, your well-being, okay? Um, like being very unapologetic about it. Uh, death in the reverse, again, is this big internal transformation. This could even be completely changing what you ingest or consume, whether that's food, um, media, social media, whatever it is, people in your life, energy in your surroundings. So the thing is, this leap of faith, this self-prioritization is going to require that you let go of maybe a place you live or a job or a person, some relationships or something. Oh my God, Kim, I didn't even notice what song was playing. Um, 
Death clarified by the Ace of Wands. Yeah, because you guys are ready for a new adventure. New adventure, new life, uh, maybe a new creative project, new career. Um, or you're just ready to like fall in love with yourself, honestly. What's their focus? Three of Swords. So what you're being called to focus on is healing your heart. Okay, healing those patterns that keep perpetuating. Okay, you don't blame anyone else for your own bullshit. If a pattern is repeating in your life, it has nothing to do with the people in your life. It has to do with you. There needs to be accountability. Okay, you want to heal, you got to change. You can't act the same way and expect healing. Ooh, that was big. You can't act the same way and expect healing. You want other people to change, you have to fucking change. Yeah, look, strength. You got to face your own bullshit. Accountability, consistency. Okay. Are you worth committing to yourself? I literally, I just had a one-on-one -on -one client session this earlier this morning. We talked all about this um, because she's starting um, a Reiki business and she, she's been struggling in being consistent in her own Reiki practice for her own healing. Okay. Accountability. And you want to know why? Because she has trauma or she was conditioned to believe that she shouldn't commit to herself to reaching her goals. Why? Because that was a pattern that her mother perpetuated. So this is a pattern probably from the mother, okay? You've heard me talk about mother wounds, comment mother if that resonates. Or it could be a, a, just a parent in general. But you have to be, you're being called to focus on how strong these um, emotionally difficult experiences have been or were. It made you stronger, not weaker. But you also have to have the strength to face what you're feeling. To face how these have shaped your actions up until this point. Recent past. Ace of Pentacles. You may have gotten an opportunity. Um, could be a job opportunity, money, um, justice. Maybe from a legal situation, something contractual, sale of a home or something like that. Um, but Ace of Pentacles is a, could be a new opportunity to change uh, your health and wellness in some way, okay? But there's a seed that you were either presented with or a seed that you planted. Could be a, an actual garden, but I feel like this is like self-investment. Like maybe you received money and spirit is like, don't waste it on stupid shit. Don't waste it on the stuff you used to buy that gave you some false sense of security or made you feel good about yourself for like 0.2 seconds and then you felt like shit about yourself again. Okay, so this is like maybe um, abundance that came in to where you are now able to invest in your healing or a new business or a new house or a new life in some way, maybe a trip or travel. So um, what I'm kind of hearing is uh, don't let this... Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Could it have even been someone um, offering like a new relationship as well? Does not have to be romantic, by the way. Okay, your strength is four of pentacles. I feel like you guys have a solid foundation to work off of with whatever this is. Like you have your ducks in a row. Um, maybe you have the knowledge you need um, to move forward with something. It's like you have like the foundational elements to something. Let me get a little more clarity. Eight of Cups. The Hermit. You're stable on your own. Your strength is that you're stable on your own. And the thing is, you're never really alone. Spirit is with you, hermit. I also feel like too, your strength, even though you may not realize it, is that You're moving out of lack mentality, scarcity mindset, 
or you're you're starting to learn or embody letting go of control micromanagement of your environment and you're learning that doing the spiritual work helps you do that like you're very strong spiritually because you're able to identify what brings instability in your life uh nope this is a collective your future Three of Pentacles, you're going to be working with someone. Um, now, this could be a working on a team. This could be you working with like a, a doctor or a therapist. It could be you working with a mentor. Um, it could be acknowledgement of something that you're building. Because we go from the Ace of Pentacles, the seed you're planting, to Three of Pentacles, um, some abundance coming in because of that positive change you made or you making a wise investment a wise investment okay so it's like the universe said here like here is like the money or here's the class the course the mentor here's the house here's the car here's it's something tangible okay and you taking the universe up on this offer to invest in yourself three pentacles it's going to pay off you're going to learn a lot you're going to make new connections i feel like it's going to inspire you Yes. Yeah. The investment's going to pay off big time. You go from the three to the nine. Um, it may have something to do with improving your self-worth. Again, improving your physical health and wellness. I feel like this is self-worth, though. I feel like um, you also have strength to walk away from an opportunity that is, like, good but not great. Like you're not accepting less. That's your strength. You no longer accept less. And you guys can apply that in any bucket of your life. Let me know what bucket that resonates for you with. Um, but the work that you have done, Three of Pentacles, on, again, your health, your self-worth, um, maybe in your career space. It could be your finances as well. Okay, it, it's paying off in that you know your value and because you internally know your value, other people have to acknowledge your value. It is a universal law. What you acknowledge within yourself, everyone else in your environment has to acknowledge that. Because what, ha what occurs within projects without. Okay. Suggested approach to whatever. So this is going to be a suggested approach to whatever is on your mind right now. The first thing that pops in your head. Choose you. Empress, choose you. This is divine feminine. <laughs> as my <laughs> as my husband calls me. <laughs> it's funny. Um I'm getting this energy of like birthing something like um maybe a, a baby if that's like your focus but um this is more creative I think ah! Kim I love it just more confirmation um Empress is giving yes divine feminine but it's like mothering yourself giving to you what your mother could not give to you let's clarify this a little bit um i'm also hearing you're ready like i feel like your mantra should be i am ready gives me like spongebob vibes like oh, i'm ready oh, i'm ready oh, i'm ready no, but it's not like silly like that, but you are ready. High Priestess, Queen of Wands, wow. There's something that you guys want to create or do for yourself. Your intuition is driving you to do it big time. If you choose to do it, it's going to increase your confidence a fuck ton. Queen of Wands, she's a badass bee. She's the most badass mother effing queen. She didn't take no shit. She, she attracts abundance. Look at that sunflower. That's a symbol of abundance, man. 
But she knows her worth. She knows her value. She knows what she brings to the table. She's unapologetically herself. She embraces her, her sexiness, her body, her mind, her soul, her energy. Like she just, she loves every single part of herself, including her darker aspects, her shadow. The parts that she's still healing, she loves them anyway. Okay, so this is kind of like the vibe I'm getting with this suggested approach is loving the hidden aspects or the, the aspects of yourself that you're ashamed of, the aspects that you hide away. These could also be like aspects of your personality that you only show to very like specific people or that you only show when you're alone. Yeah. Um, and again, to take this as a more like, um, direct message, guys, if you want to create something where you're like bringing healing to people through, um, psychology, through, um, mindset reframing, through your spiritual abilities, through your empathy, through, um, maybe healing the body, finding underlying issues or wounds or something like that, um, birth that, bring that to life, focus on that or do what you need to do. This could simply just be embracing the part of you that's hidden. I mean, that's really what it is. Um, maybe you want to create something or learn. There's something you feel is a part of you. A high priestess, it could be like psychic or spiritual abilities. It could be, um, like you have this like, um, this, this creativity that you keep hidden in some way. There's something you love. Can I get more clarity on this? Eight of Swords. It's something you don't believe that you can do. Five of Cups. Maybe because it's failed in the past. Um, or you've seen other people fail at it. Or you just have like a, like a piss poor attitude about it. Like it's going to fail. For some of you, you you don't think you can do something without your mom around. Condolences if you have lost your mom. Um, for others, you want to embrace your divine feminine. Like you want to know how to tap into that energy. You guys hear me talk about this, like entering flow culture versus hustle culture. Like you want to learn how to do it. You want to learn how to dive deep, how to trust that you deserve things to flow or to allow things to flow. It's just eight of swords. There's like some sort of like self-sabotage here. Um, yeah, there's abundance here for you in whatever form you specifically want it in, right? The thing is though, suggested approach, you have to eight of swords, you've got to face those hidden aspects of yourself that created this, this, these self-sabotaging tendencies. Okay. And, um, what is hidden from them that needs to come to light? Ah, uh, ooh, Hierophant. Beliefs about yourself, I just heard. Beliefs about yourself, about your capabilities, about your connection to spirit, maybe. Some of you think that you're not connected to spirit or you can't connect with them, but you can. Um, five of Wands. Justice. Okay. I just heard there has to be another way or there has to be a different way. So, this thing is like crushing my head. Um, where is this music playing? It's not the playlist I want. There we go. I hope you guys like Pink because some of her songs I'm like in love with. <laughs> Have you ever fell in love with just your hands? You guys know the song? I love the song. 
just trust it. Have you ever thrown a fistful of glitter in the air? Oh, I love this song. Anyway, sorry, let me not get distracted. Yeah, have you ever looked fear in the face and said, I just don't care? Um, the reason why you're conflicted about the way you do things or the reason why you're like conflicted about how you feel about the way things are structured in your external reality, you're kind of going back and forth about your belief systems, you're going back and forth about your marriage, maybe a, a committed relationship, your job, your education, your place in life, your community is because you're at this like precipice of like, I, I want to know the truth of who I am. I want to know my true path, but I just have these like super deep conditioned beliefs about who I'm supposed to be versus who I am. There also could be um, a legal situation with regard to something with regard to like a religious entity. Um, it could be a financial entity or like business entity in general. Um, you guys got to focus on the outcome you want with something. Like, oh, okay. This makes sense. It's almost like there's this con, there's this, I love her. Um, anyway, there's like this conflicted energy between what you think you're supposed to want for your life versus what you actually want. Okay. So what's hidden that's coming to light is I would grab a journal. I would put a line down the paper. Anyway, I'll put a line down the paper and I would say, I would write down, what do you want them to write? What I was told I want versus what I actually want. Do you guys get it? What I was told I want versus what I actually want. Because I guarantee you, you're going to see fucking differences. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And guys, that is a free exercise. I mean, it is super easy and simple. Um, because like, I talked about this a couple weeks ago. Maybe, like, you know how in our society, in our culture, especially in the U.S., you're, you're taught or we're taught that we want this like huge career success and we just want to be so committed to our job and we want to be acknowledged for those accomplishments and like we want to hustle, 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 um, where maybe like the authentic version of you just like wants flow and ease and you want to just, I don't know, be able to wake up in the morning and just decide in that moment what you want to do versus having structure. You know what I mean? Maybe you, you know, I don't know. Like, it really depends on you guys. Mm -hmm. This song. That's just the pony show. I got a roof. Gratitude. Over my head. I got a warm body in bed. Doing all right. Right where I'm at. Yeah, with what I have. Yeah, okay. Um, it's like it not always needing to like strive for more, more, more. Like allowing yourself to like be in the moment, loving where you are, what you have, and then being grateful for more that flows in. Oh, thank you. Actually, singing is one thing that I just started taking lessons for because it's something I'm like deathly afraid to do in front of people. But I have to set an example for you guys. So I sing sometimes. Anyway. 
Like to give you guys an example, um, I always you I always used to put so much pressure on myself to perform, um, to make a shit ton of money, to be successful, like, and I would always prioritize like being busy. You know what I mean? And what I've discovered over the many years I've been on my healing journey, especially over the last year, is that I. I love the days of like sitting on my porch and reading a book for a couple hours, um, being able to like take a drive to like the lake near my house or to go just take a drive to the beach and just like enjoy the day. Um, really enjoying time with my husband who I don't really get to see that much or my friends and like really just like being in the moment. Um, and it's okay. Like you don't have to have the same goals as like what society tells you you should want or you don't have to want what society tells you or other people tell you. Your your idea of alignment has to be your own or else you're going to feel like you struggle to manifest all the fucking time. And I don't want that for you. Do you fucking want that? I don't think so. Service error my ass. Oh, this is a great song. All right. Um, what's some good news I can tell them about? Two of Pentacles. Balance. So, um, I feel like if you if there's been an imbalance with regard to maybe your health, your finances. Um, just some level of like feeling like you're juggling a lot. Like you, you are do, you are juggling it. You are managing it, but it's like just being able to, I feel like there's, there's calm coming into that situation. Yeah. Because of divine timing, something's coming in for you guys. Wheel of fortune. It's good. Three of wands. It's something you did in the past. Could have been something you separated from or someone you separated from. So uh, to me, this could be like a, a divorce settlement. It could be like severance if you got laid off or something from a job. Um, it could be something you started in the past or you started like, I heard proceedings. Proceedings, paperwork, contracts, I don't know. Um, I feel like March is big. Like the second week of March is big. All right, let's grab a tea leaf to see what that is because I want to know for you guys. feel like whatever issue that has been like heating up like the the vibe I'm getting is there has been like a problem an imbalance or something that has just been like steadily like maybe getting a little bit worse or more heated I feel like there's abundance coming in to help balance things out so you can like see your way out of it does that make sense to you guys Yeah, time to go out and have fun. Something's bringing levity to a situation. Okay. Oh, this is a great song. If any of you want to raise your vibration, I suggest you listen to this in the morning. I dance to this every morning. All right. Um... Uh, so let's do um, the outcome to the to the situation you're concerned about. We have the devil reversed. We like that. We like that card reversed. 
I feel like your guides are like, don't be so serious about it. Maybe you like want to dance. I don't know. I love this song, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Page of Swords. I'll make it a little louder. This song is worth hearing. This is from the Practical Magic soundtrack, and that is my favorite movie, by the way. If you guys can dance. Dance with me. It is a good one. Page of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So we got the Devil Reversed, the Page of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Ooh. Is anyone else dancing? No one can see you, so. Only you guys can see me, and I look like a friggin' idiot, but I don't fucking care. <laughs> okay, Lo, you're welcome. I'm bopping my head around. I'll get up on my feet and dance if you guys want. If anyone needs to raise their vibration, I will do it. I don't fucking care. Anyway, um, the Devil Reverse, Page of Swords, and uh, Page of Pentacles. Dancing and cutting strawberries. Holly, be careful with that knife. <laughs> yeah, guys, I feel like whatever like the, the devil on your shoulder is telling you about a situation you're worried about, be light about it. It's not as heavy as you think that it is. I also feel like too, you guys might be getting um, a message um, that is like containing something tangible. Um, it could be money, it could be a contract. There's like a big focus on on wealth, on money, contracts, um, could be inheritance, I don't know. It, it's really gonna depend on your own individual situation. But there's something that, is, there's a message coming in with something tangible that can help you either get out of a situation or a relationship that it that you feel very bound to like it controls your life it could be a relationship a job a habit it could it depends on your you as an individual or it's a message with steps like giving you the steps you need to take which is awesome why wouldn't you want that Okay, what oracle deck do I want to use? We'll use the crystal medicine oracle. All right. Are you guys liking the dance music? We can keep that going. Ooh, do you guys like to fist pump? I'm from Jersey, man. We fist pump. This is a great song and it will, the tempo does pick up. I'll just play it and see if you guys like it. You're gonna see me fist pump in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Love when the strings come in. Wait for it. Beat's about to drop. Are you guys having fun? I am. Don't waste your time. You guys got a fist bump. It's like the best thing ever. Are you guys vibing with the song? All right. Anyway, uh, to close out the reading, we have freedom and unconditional love. Unconditional love is the card that came out. Notice we have a feminine in the center. Yes, such a mood. Good. 
Yeah, I like, I've been vibing with music and dancing. I've been wanting to move my body so freaking much. Kim, you're like my spirit animal. Oh my god. I love the words in this song, they're just so direct. Okay, so the freedom that you guys want to attain is going to be through unconditional love. All right, but let me read the. It is called Explore the World by Brain Heart. Brain Heart. Anyway, let me let, let me stop. <laughs> anyway. Unconditional love. This is one of the most powerful cards in the deck, and it has come to you today to remind you that you are love. The love expressed here is unconditional, which has no boundaries. The energy that makes up the universe, and no matter what happens, embraces everything with abundance and all ways. This love is shared with no expectation of getting anything in return. It is your true state of being, who you are at your core, your soul's vibration. Love is what makes the world go round, and without love there is no life. Have you been feeling a lack of love? Are you searching for love in the people and other things outside of yourself to fill you up? Have you lost yourself and are trying to find your way home? Are you going through a time of grieving or loss? Have you just split from a relationship? Whatever your current circumstance, know that unconditional love is the answer. Do whatever is required so you can connect with this abundant, everlasting energy within you. It's not always easy to love yourself without condition for who you are right here, right now. However, you are encouraged to give it a good go. It's time to be kind, compassionate, and gentle with yourself and practice the art of loving whatever arises within you. As your feelings and thoughts arise, bring a depth of understanding and compassion through for yourself. Set yourself free with unconditional love, knowing that love is the answer and has the power to heal all. <laughs> 